Alright, so I come back to my Dragon Fable. Um, we're on T for three now. Sounds good. Oh uh, yeah, I forgot about this. I forgot. Okay, dokey. I will go and make tea now. I will be in the kitchen. Dirt peak. Okay. Please, um, make yourself in my house, in my home. <laughs> At home. Okay. Don't be, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Patronize me. Apologies. What am I even doing here? Why did I agree to it? Children. My only weakness. Do you want cookies too? It's your thing, Lynn. Yay. Uh. Um, sit on the couch. It's very soft and don't go to my daddy's room, please. Sorry. What did, uh, what did I got myself roped into this time? Sorry, I'm just sorting my microphone out. Uh, okay, the couch. As the inviting as the couch looks, it's probably not a good time to take a seat. She just told me to. She just told me to... Go in. Sit on it. Okay, there's a lot of stuff in here I recognise. Okay, the Dracolich. Um, what did that say? How did they get a piano in here? Well, you could have built it in here. You know, you know what I mean? A wooden blade of doom. <laughs> Does this kid, kid know who I am? And does she like collect everything that I've like sort of messed around with? As a fair plushie. This must be the kitchen. I don't really want to go in their dad's room if she's telling me not to. It, it's telling me not to, though. Shrine set up for a woman depicted in an old worn picture. Uh, a plain sleeping mat can be great for your back. A book lies up near the pillar. Pick it up, then. Oh, there you go. Okay, a big book we're gonna read. Valen. Let's begin. That hero always seems to carry a book around. Is there some secret to their power? Ah, maybe this will help with their plan, with the pain. I must take my leave. Uh, Gravelin requires my attention. Oh, is that name Gravelin? Oh, Gravelin. The pain is almost unbearable. Betrayed by the stranger. Betrayed by the darkness. Betrayed by the by Drakath, an abandoned half a man. Wait. Sepulcher? What the fuck? The remains of the armor are fused to me. To remove it by force would kill me. I cannot have Gravelin. Uh, is it Gravelin? I'm going to say Gravelin. In this forsaken world, I must keep my promise. Writing this out seems to lessen the pain somewhat, though it flares up when I think of the past. I must have said my next steps. Is that that Sepulchre? Oh, if this is Sepulchre, then that is amazing. I do not have the necessary resources to conduct any research. Besides, such matters are far too dangerous to keep around Gravelin. Gravelin, fuck's sake. At the very least, I still retain a considerable amount of power. Enough to keep us hidden from wandering eyes and any who suspect our existence. Word is spreading of some conflict with elementals and an infernal. And none of my business. I just realised, if this is Sepulchre and he's still alive, and Gravelin is her... his daughter, question mark, then maybe she's luring me into a trap. 
Maybe. I don't know. I'm just speculating. Maybe she's innocent. Maybe she doesn't know what Sepulcher did. If this is Sepulcher. Which I assume it is. Uh, anyway. Of course they would be involved. Who else could it have been? Saving the world again and again when I could do nothing. The hero and the dragon ever so heroic. In another time and place, I could have saved her back then. I could have been the hero. Then why? Why do they lie, lie to me? I nearly destroyed this book in a fit of anger. The pain takes me further with each passing day. But seeing Gravelyn smile, that always brings me back. It uh, rains in my rage. I must take my time, begin my research. It seems the infernal incident was more of a boon than I expected. The hero has been anticipated, apparently frozen in a block of ice. Gravelyn was worried for me, since I can't stop smiling. The, again, words of um, anti-magic revolution have reached me as well. I will need to take extra precautions to stay hidden. Made a journey to visit the hero sickle. Powerful magic will eventually wear off, but I have time now. The freed mage, the freed mage, Jania, has created an organization called the Rose. It seems they have gained King Altian's approval as well as his funding. They're gathering magical artifacts and creatures for study and disposal. Perhaps I can use their resources to my advantage to help with this pain. Um, met with Jania, I redoubled my illusion so no one would recognize me. Yet, yeah, there uh, were magic detectors everywhere. Of course I set them off. I was detained and sent to meet with Jania herself. She was perceptive, I'll give her that. Immediately saw through my masterfully crafted illusions, but not all of it. Just enough to see my pain, or rather, part of undying underlying cause, but I'm certain she can see who I truly am. Jinnia accepted me into her fold with a quick sob story, too trusting. Maybe I've been given a small laboratory to start with so I could care less now where to begin. Breakthrough, I was able to secure a new position since my last entry. Head of research of ancient um, sentient artifacts. As such, artifacts are quite rare. The lab is rather small, but it's perfect for researching my own dilemma. One of our first projects was a meowing book. The product of some misguided experimentation, perhaps. Further inspection revealed that it had been one of an actual living cat, as well as a book of magical communication. After significant magical prying, I was eventually able to separate the two, although not quite back to the base components. The cat seems to be abnormally intelligent, while the book no longer has any magical properties. They have kept the cat under study for my adverse effects. Not comfortable with the other researchers, however. They all seem to have other motives, ironic, coming from me. I've been given a larger lab and my extension more resources, all thanks to Jania. The separation of the Necro Necronomicon impressed her greatly, although she had her eyes for the results. The method didn't interest her in the least. The separation of magical artifacts is frustrating. Every artifact, every combination, every thread connecting two or more parts must be identified and plucked in the proper order. I tried it on myself and failed. And of course, the pen is always there to remind me. The cat escaped. Well, I did not care for it that much. I had hoped to secure it as a companion for Gravelin. Uh, once my research is complete. It turns out the thing was much more intelligent than anyone had expected. In in <laughs> wait, I can't even read that. Unlatching its container overnight. 
Curiously, it did not trigger any anti-magic words wards during its escape. Perhaps its intel intellect wasn't tied to the bug after all. But this bugs well for me. Another escape though, and not from my lab. This time it seems the hero sickle has finally melted. And of course, they're back to saving the world again. It's only a matter of time before they clash with the rose and must be discreet. By just, by just knowing they're out there, my pain grows further. I received another promotion. While I still have access to my tab, I have a number of new responsibilities within the rose. Responsibilities that would be irresponsible of me to write down. Jenny still does not see what lies before her. Those that take advantage of her trust, she is naive and foolish, but she does not get results. And with this promotion, she does get results, and with this promotion I could leverage even more resources into my own research. I returned from a brief journey to the Cape of Bergelmerk. I had hoped for more tangible knowledge, being the techniques of the Paldins of old. But I doubt there is much else I could find without travelling further west to Ostenveld. There are a few relics gathered from the runes at least. I will need to study them further. I gave Jenny my monthly report. She received some sort of missive from the faraway land of Azavir. Its contents left her rather perturbed though. She attempted to pry from my affairs once again. This Magistrum sounds interesting. Another continent with its own bunch of magic. Perhaps I should look into this. Brand across something interesting in my research. A form of magic known as flesh weaving. Native to Azavia, however. Flesh weaver. Um, the scan de depictions I found were all terribly wicked. I've been betrayed enough times to know that something is so sinister must have a great cost, and nothing left to give, the subject is a dead end. It seems that I would not, um, that not the last of Doom's play things. A weapon has been risen, leading a wave of darkness across the land. This cannot stand. I would not tolerate my betrayers seizing power. The Rose must become involved. Jenny must act. The pain. The pain. The pen. I saved the dragon, but the pen. I saw them again today. Ready to charge into battle, headstrong and stubborn as ever. I can't stand it, but my cover cannot be broken. I still. <coughs> dying. Um, I shall have to ask Dania to um, retrieve my m uh, remaining magical artifacts. I must study them when this is all over. The magic is some as what affects me. Perhaps this is what I needed after all. Jenny has left me to presume the Magistrum. Acanthus is now in charge, but I do not trust his intentions, especially for the Rose. I must be exceedingly wary from now on. My stunt of the dragon was necessary, wasn't it? I had to. But it's become increasingly more difficult to manage the pain. Uh, Linara held me. Linara? Who's that? Wait, so is Linara Ria Lin? Or is that maybe the same name for her? I don't know. Hell to me. Perhaps I should spend more time with the gr with Gravelin. That always seems to help. Okay. I'm gonna be so happy if this is Sepulcher. So, Sepulcher? I'm in Sepulcher's house with his daughter, and he's in the rose. I need a wit. Is a Canthus Sepulcher? It must be Canthus. I did. I I thought that Lynn was going to be um, you know that red-haired guy in the rose. That I kept saying, who's he? Um, I thought it was going to be him. Because they the both got red hair. 
and I just kind of like link to that. Um, I need to leave. Gravy, I'm home. I think it's a canthus, maybe. Yay, Dad, get out of your way, clothes. I'm so sorry, Princess. That's better. Sweetie, can you tell me why the guards are all beaten up? I'm having a guest. Oh. Uh, Gravy, have you been sneaking out again? We've been over this. I know, I know. But he's so cool. And you don't have to make him one of the castle guards. Here, let me introduce him to you. Oh, uh, I forgot his name. Oh well. Guest. You will like him. He's been telling me of all the cool stories, adventures, and heroic deeds he's done. What? It's... You. Maybe it's not Acanthus. I don't know. You know him already, Daddy? Yes. From work. Oh, awesome. You two will stay here, please. I will make more tea. Oh, no. Can't believe I've got some pulcha back. That's so cool. I can't believe it. I never would have expected, because I thought... Well, I always thought she might be alive, but I always assumed he was just dead. So you haven't seen him so far. Why does he look so weird? Is that his skin? Or is that because his arm is like fused to him? I wonder if it is a canvas though. Maybe. Because you need to take off your work clothes. It's ready. Come, come. So, please throw it. How's life? You look well. I think you should get that looked at. Why am I roasting him? Why are you not talking, Daddy? Are you mad at me? I can never be mad at you, Princess. Aww. Do you want to kill him? Please don't kill him. Yeah, do you want to kill me? Your Gravelin's guest, I won't. Thank you. You're welcome, sweetie. This is nice. I never took you for a... A what? A parent. Well, thank you for the two, Gravelin. This was a splendid, splendid farewell party. I should be going now. You should. You're welcome. Your daughter is very sweet. You should be proud. I am. If you tell anyone about this, I will kill your loved ones and destroy your and destroy you and obliterate everything you hold dear. But my daughter really, really likes you for some avatar's unknown reason. You are permitted to visit her again in the future, but if I am in the vicinity you will not speak to me nor make eye contact with me. I flattered, but I don't think this will be necessary. You will visit her in the future. Okay, well, alright. I bet I could be sepulchre. You know what I mean? It doesn't have his big doom sword anymore. I bet he's not that strong. Well, I bet he is, but I bet, I, I, I bet you I could kill him. She needs... I... Never mind. Bye, Gravelin. Bye bye. I will walk you out. Deep breath. Well, that were. Listen to me. I wasn't jerking. I may be a shadow of my former self. But I can still inflict a great amount of pain to you and those around you. 
No one can know about my daughter, about who and what she is. Especially to the brothers. I've helped you before. Now it's time for you to return the favor. Do not tell anyone about this. Sure, man. <laughs> what? Why are you being like this? Look, we had our disagreements in the past. If you can call them that. But I can see that you really love your daughter. I respect and admire that. I will keep my mouth shut on about this. It's not like it makes us friends or anything, right? Precisely. Good talk. I'm gone now. Sorry for the skeletons. Oh, what on Doom Sword? Memorabilia. Um, I'm mean, just pretty shit to be honest. I'll just grab the level 81. Well, at least the tea was good. That is so cool though, I can't believe it. Anyway though, I'm gonna leave this on here. Thank you for watching, I'll see you on the next part. Goodbye.